Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 16th, 2019. So yesterday turned out to be really, really anemic, just a lot of choppy price action, not much going on here. And I think that might be a result of, uh, you know, the Amazon Prime Day, which has really kind of become a de facto holiday as and it extends well beyond Amazon as retailers trying to compete um, with the behemoth uh, sales event, uh, create their own sales event. And it's kind of like a Black Friday in the middle of the summer. So we have um, pretty, pretty light volume yesterday, not much going on. As a matter of fact, if we look at a shorter term chart, like a 15 minute chart, you can see the diamonds essentially just slid sideways all day yesterday. It didn't really do much of anything and uh, leaving behind a very indecisive candle. Now, the other reason that that could possibly be the case is that we're waiting on more earnings results before we get moving. So let's take a look at what's going on this morning. First off, we have futures right now um, hovering around flat. Uh, right now, the Dow futures, as, I, as I'm speaking, are up 16 points. They're trying to catch a little bit of bullish energy here, but they've just been hovering around that flat area this morning. Now that may change as these earnings begin to roll in and we'll have to watch that pretty closely. But um, right now, JP Morgan has already reported, let me show you that, JP Morgan has reported, and it, even though it reported a beat on earnings, traders and investors don't seem all that impressed. And the stock is looking to gap down this morning down into this area. So Apparently, they're a little bit disappointed at the moment. We'll have to wait and see how the rest of these earnings roll in. Let's um, go back here and take a look. So right now, we have just an indecisive day here. Doesn't really tell us anything about where we're going to go. Um, likely going to be very, very subject to these earnings reports to uh, maybe set a direction uh, in the chart. But let's keep in mind that currently what's going on is trends are still very, very bullish. So as the trend remains very, very bullish, any rest consolidation or pullback even, if we consolidate over to trend or pull back toward trend, I don't think any of that really damages the chart um, in any way, shape or form. So um, we've got <clears throat> really strong uh, signals here in the chart as far as trend goes and we need to um, continue to, to, to remain bullish um, until something changes here in the market and right now there's no signs of, of, of change maybe indecision but no signs of change and of course we don't have to go sideways or pull back we could certainly just go right from here uh, right on up so keep that in mind there's no resistance to the upside here in the diamonds, um, it's all blue sky above. So um, no resistance. Now, if we do start pulling back, I think we're going to be okay if we if we uh, pull back and hold above this level. Anything above these levels right in here, we should have a pretty good um, area of support in the possibility that we could bounce on off of that and continue to move higher. So I don't think there's a whole lot to fear here, at least at the moment um, in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also maintaining very strong trend. Blue sky above, no resistance up there. Any rest consolidation, pullback won't hurt us at all. And we certainly could move on up the strength of this trend is certainly bullish so um, kind of keep an eye on that and if we do decide to find some pullback there's some price support right in here that could catch us price support right across here that could catch us and then of course the major support right across here so even pullbacks into here i don't th think create massive technical damage um, at least at this point. So um, you got to stay on the bullish side um, with that kind of chart. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs holding up very, very well. Once again, blue sky, only blue sky above. Trends remain strong. We have this strong upside trend. Any pullback, any consolidation, or that possibility of moving on higher with no restrictions above is certainly possible in earnings. Now, this one has a little bit 
more of a concern in just the sense that we have a, a pretty specific level of support here. And we don't have a whole lot of room on the cues. Now, so if we pull back and hold this level, I think we're going to be perfectly fine. If this level were, happen, were to happen, excuse me, happen to fail, then we could um, see a little bit of problem creeping into the market, failing that high. But so far, um, no risk or worry of that at the moment. And then IWM. IWM has been really perplexing here in the sense that it just doesn't want to participate with the market. And you can see um, IWM continuing to maintain this larger downtrend. Yesterday, finishing the day, almost a bearish engulfing candle. It managed to rally just a little bit at the end of the day to avoid that bearish engulfing candle as it consolidates inside this wedge pattern that we have here. So now the question is, is this going to have, as this wedge tightens up, is this going to have enough energy to break through to the upside? Or could this break through to the downside, breaking this really significant level right through here of support? If, if that fails, um, IWM could be that first clue of leading us lower on this earnings season. I don't want that to be the case, but I have to read the chart for what it is. Now, of course, if we break out, it's possible IWM, if earnings are, are strong enough and good enough, IWM finally kicks in and participates with the overall market to the upside. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at the uh, VIX. That VIX just resting yesterday, really not doing much of anything, kind of bounced around a little bit, but really not doing much of anything. Maintaining down here, very near an 11 handle um, on the VIX. And we still have this price support down in here on this chart that could act as that price support. So we still have room to move lower. And as you can see, there's that price support that I have marked in the chart. So we'll have to watch for that carefully. It's also certainly possible if um, earnings events begin to disappoint the market um, and a little bit of fear starts creeping in, then we can move up and maybe challenge this downtrend that's going on in the chart. We'll have to watch that close. Let's take a look at T21. 22. T21 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And this is where my concern really kind of lies right now, where this, um, even though we're showing lots and lots of bullishness in the market and the trends are good, the technicals are good, all of that, we are up here very near that bearish reversal zone. So we're up here where we've kind of stretched this rally pretty pretty tightly doesn't mean we have to fail we can stay up here for a while and um, you can see that little bit of pullback yesterday app actually opens the door for more upside move to reach us up here into that extended area but right now just a little bit of concern here that we may have stretched well we may have stretched this rally pretty hard so let's watch that closely um and um, and re just realize that we have a, a, a significant open space down here um, if markets end up being disappointed in earnings to pull back. So let's watch that. Um, as I speak, the Dow futures continue to get stronger. We're now bullish across the board with the Dow, ES, NASDAQ, um, all looking higher, slightly higher this morning with the Dow leading the way up 27 points. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. We have a, a strange economic calendar today with a just a parade of Fed speakers along with some big numbers coming out. See, so as you can see, starting off early this morning, we get Fed speak, uh, just tons and tons of Fed speak today um, as we move along throughout the day, including Jerome Powell at 1 p.m is speaking. So um, as we go throughout the day, just more and more Fed speak um, in the market. Big report to pay attention to would be this retail sales number at 8.30 a.m. So before the market opens, we're going to have um, retail 
maybe chiming in. We'll have to see how that comes in um, this morning. <clears throat> that could be um, a su substantial mover of the market uh, today. So keep that in mind. Also, industrial production here at 9.15. We'll want to pay attention to that. That definitely can move the market. We have a few lighter reports like import-export prices here at 8.30, business inventories, housing market, and then right here at the end of the day, the Treasury International Capital. Some of those I wouldn't expect to move the market around. So let's keep really close eye on the retail sales, that industrial production number, and then, of course, Jerome Powell speaking today. We always want to pay attention to that. So a lot going on in the economic calendar today that could move us around. On the earnings calendar, over 40 companies reporting this morning. And we have, uh, as, as that earnings season begins to ramp up, so make sure you're paying very, very close attention to um, those earnings reports, making sure that you're um, protecting yourself around those earnings events if you happen to own the company or if you're thinking of purchasing the company make sure you're checking those earnings reports you know the market doesn't reward laziness so we want to watch that very very closely um, stocks like J&J uh, &J reporting this morning you can see J&J &J looking like they are flat um, we've already looked at JP Morgan how about Goldman Sachs what's Goldman doing Goldman um, actually indicating just a little higher this morning from its close. Uh, DPZ, DPZ uh, looks like Domino's reported this morning and disappointed the market and it's moving lower. So we have all of these, um, um, all of these reports coming in and uh, moving the market around here just a little bit. But as of this moment, uh, futures are continuing to grow a little bit stronger, now up 34 points on the Dow. So let's watch that carefully as we move to that retail report at 8.30 a.m. Eastern this morning. So with that, everyone, hey, um, I want to ask you a favor. If you would click that subscribe button on YouTube, um, and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. I would certainly uh, appreciate that uh, very, very much. You know, um, I do the best job I can with putting out these videos. And, and one of these days very soon, I will actually be on camera um, uh, doing these so um, we can build more of that personal relationship with these videos. But... Um, until then, if you can continue to help me uh, grow this channel by leaving those kind comments, clicking that thumbs up button, I truly, truly appreciate it. If you feel these videos are worth uh, worth uh, worth that support, uh, please do click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be a long conversation or anything, but that brief comment really helps the algorithm show these videos to more people and also always feel free to share this information with any friends and family it's meant for everyone out there so please uh, feel free to do that at any time so with that let's take a look at some of the stocks that might be setting up for potential trades now as i do this i want to remind everyone that every time i show a stock in here it's not a recommendation to buy or sell anything it is just a stock that could be setting up setting up a pattern that i follow and um, something that you might want to start watching for a potential of a trade let's take a look right off let's take a look at kar kar nice little rally going on here in kar and this consolidation is really beginning to tighten up in here now i can't tell you with any certainty that this is going to break to the upside but i do watch these kind of patterns pretty closely because we essentially get these patterns that repeat over and over we get these consolidations over to trend and then the stock finds its uh finds its legs and we pop on out following that trend it's also possible that we can fail 
these trends right here and that tells us something as well so watch that closely you can see if if you look at any of my charts and you look for these little pink lines on the charts those are always price alerts that i've set on the chart so all i'm doing is watching and waiting to see if this um kar can pop out break that alert and maybe move higher you can see that same kind of thing here on uh, texas instruments texas instruments here was my alert and you can see the results of that trade just waiting for that price action to occur waiting for that pullback to trend and support or waiting for that nice tight consolidation over to uh, that trend and we get these nice potential moves in a chart and you can see here in texas instruments yesterday a nice strong move following through breaking through these highs and now any rest consolidation or pullback in this chart could definitely set up the next entry into that trade. So keep an eye on Texas Instruments. It's looking pretty good, looking pretty strong. Take a look at MCD. MCD, there's that pattern again, breaking through these resistance levels. You can see the alerts in the chart popping through, holding right in here. It looks to me like um, MCD has that possibility or that bullish energy to maybe follow through to the upside. But don't be too surprised um, on a stock if it moves a little bit early away from its trend. Don't be too surprised if we end up consolidating back to the trend before that really starts picking up. Watch that one closely. TPX. TPX is another. And you can see this has just been moving up its trend looking pretty good. And now pulling back to test support and trend. We'll want to watch this in here to see if there's another opportunity to uh, pick this trade up but TPX continuing to look pretty darn good STZ is one I've been keeping a fairly close eye on here STZ breaking its downtrend and you can see here's our uptrend and what we're doing right now is just shifting sideways we're consolidating this move sideways we're waiting for that energy to come into this stock and possibly move us higher. So watch that pretty closely um, as that be continues to form up for a potential trade um, in the chart. A little bit different kind of chart to maybe be looking at CTL. CTL is what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern. That's continued on up here after alerting um, right in this area. So I think a little bit of rest or pullback might be coming in this chart here fairly soon. So watch for that little rest, pullback, or consolidation in this chart, whether it consolidates, whether it pulls back. Watch for that next potential entry into CTL. I think this still has nice upside in it um, in the chart. So watch that close. Um, other charts out there, there's just lots of charts that are potentially forming up, setting up, um, looking pretty good in lots of different places. Take a look at MGM, MGM. There's that pattern again. Isn't it amazing how that pattern repeats itself so much? There's our trend. You can see breaking the downtrend here in the chart, moving on up. There was an alert that I had on the chart right in here. Moving on up and you can see breaking through that resistance, probably an upside target in here. At least for now, MGM looking pretty good in these charts and if you take a look at some other casino stocks you're going to see that same kind of pattern there's that alert wind casinos moving over to its trend pop there she goes running up here testing some resistance level in the chart maybe looking to try and break on through and check those levels a little bit higher so watch that one closely um twitter <clears throat> Twitter is a little bit different pattern, but look how Twitter, um, it broke support. And this is one of those patterns that I, that I watch for. If a stock is broken support, I'm not interested in trading it until it is recovered support and then proves that it can hold it as support. So for example, breaking through this support in here, the stock has to recover prove it can hold it as a support before I would ever be interested in buying it. And now look what it's done. It's actually broken above this downtrend, broke up here, prove support, buyer stepping through on that trade to the upside. So we might want to watch this right through here. Any rest consolidation or pullback, if this were to consolidate or to trend, pull back a little bit, there may be a buy opportunity in Twitter 
to move this on up. So watch that one closely. Keep in mind, we have lots and lots of earnings coming out, guys, and we have to stay focused on these earnings reports. Every time we look at a chart right now and we start looking into the details of maybe uh, picking up that position, we have to make um, reference to that earnings report. We don't want to get caught. It's very, very common that a beautiful um, entry pattern sets itself up directly before the earnings report. And if you're not paying attention, jump into that trade and then it, it happens to report poor, poorly. You wake up in the morning with a, uh, well, with not so happy results in your account. So make sure you're checking those reports before you get into any position uh, during the earnings season. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to remind you again to please click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. And I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you who do that. You guys, you, you're just, you're awesome. You're the best. I, I truly appreciate it. You'll never know how much it means to me uh, that you take the time to do that. So everyone, take care. Have an awesome day. I wish you great profits. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.